gun. How are you? Oh, oh, man. Oh, how Alex, about this? This is something we've been dreaming about for a long, long time. It sure time. has. I just told Gene a minute ago, it's been 10 years for me. I've been close before, but we finally made it this year well, with this wonderful group. This now is the climax of the Cinderella story. It sure is. And I, I know that you want to beat those Celtics better than and more than anybody else. It's the biggest thrill in my basketball <laughs> life by far, just hands down. I'm so happy tonight. I, just, I can't talk, buddy. I can't talk. All right. Go ahead. Alex, congratulations. By God. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Hagen, Little Abner, Cliff, congratulations to you. Gosh, we're so happy and so proud of our Hawks. Thank you, bud. I'm what so tickled, a, what, I don't know what to say. What, what, what a job you did. Tell me something. A couple of years ago when you made the trade from Boston to St. Louis, did you think this might happen? Well, bud, that was the saddest day in my life, and I guess this is the happiest day in my oh, life. Oh, gee. Well, that's, that's so wonderful. You just did a tremendous job throughout the series. Each and every one of you guys, you come out with an average of 25 points a game and uh, had a few choice words when you fouled out. Yes, I sure did. <laughs> well, Cliff will say hi to all the folks in Owensboro, Kentucky. I'd sure like to, and I'd like to say especially to the Harry Miltons in Anniston, Alabama, that Martha and I and the kids are leaving here tonight, and we'll be in there tomorrow afternoon. So wait, uh, so be there ready for us. All right, fine, Cliff. Again, listen, you're going to be with us this summer, and we're looking forward. Have a nice vacation. You're going to go on tour, aren't you? Yes, I am. That's right. Thank well, you, buddy. You've done a great job for us. Well, thank you, Cliff. It's been one of the great pleasures and thrills of my life. Here's old, here's old Jack Mack, Jack McMahon. And the great backliner of the Hawks. Congratulations, Jack. Thank you, buddy. How is this locker room? Great. Oh, man, how about this? And I'll tell you what, you've got assembled here, not your fair weather friends. These are the folks that have stuck with you all season long. You've come through for them, and I know that you're a kind of a happy guy, huh? Oh, buddy, these people in St. Louis have certainly been great to us, and I think one of the big reasons is your great broadcasting. And I look forward to next year with you, buddy, and it's great to know you. Oh, Jack, I'll tell you something. I didn't score a basket all year, but yes, by you gosh. you did, baby. <laughs> It was great. Thank you, Jack. And here's the St. Louis, and in his, he just finished off his ninth year with a world championship. Easy Ed McCauley. Easy one. This is something, huh? I've been waiting a long, long time for this, buddy. And I'm glad Jack McMahon told us who won it for us. Old buddy Blantner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I, I know he's been carried away when he said that. Easy, you didn't, you didn't, when you were with Boston and you had the great ball clubs, you still never won it, did you? Never came close. Never and, came close. And now in a couple of years of the Hawks able to come back and beat the Bean Towners. Thank God for Bob Pettit, buddy boy. <laughs> uh, easy, the greatest, the easy, greatest single exhibition that I've ever seen in my whole life. I was just going to ask that. I know it's a record of 50 points in a, in a World Series game, but to me, the greatest individual performance I had ever seen. Oh, it was, it was fantastic, unbelievable. And the way he came back after some of the games he's had this series, couldn't happen to a better guy, and I'm glad he did it. One, it's really one, fantastic. One one week's difference, and we went four games in the series by the margin of eight points, but <laughs> it might as well have been 80. Ed, uh, have a real nice summer. Of course, we'll be seeing you. How can we have anything but a real nice summer after that? You've got meat and bread on the table now. Congratulations, Ed. Here's, here's, here's Bernie Ebert says hello to his wife. All right, fine. Doc, Doc Wolf, who has been one of the great supporters of the ball club all year long. We see Bob Burns here, Mike Abishan. And uh, where's, where's, where's old Doogie? We're heading toward Doogie Martin, who ran about 912 miles tonight. Doogie, say hello to all the folks that just love Howdy you so boy, much. Hey, boy, how you doing? Thank I'm you very much. Fine. That was a great one, wasn't it? Big oh. Blue really put on exhibition. Greatest I've ever seen. Hey, he got a little hungry, didn't Nothing he? Nothing to it. I swear I've never seen anything like it, buddy boy. Well, I, he, uh, his mom and dad were here. I think he wanted to head back and get that tour started. Oh, yeah. on oh I'd like to give it to him every minute of the ball Duke, if I could. Doug, tell me this. Now, this is not the first championship ball club you've been on. Is this the greatest thrill low of uh, the... You won it with the Minneapolis Lakers, but it just give you a little bit bigger thrill. Buddy, I believe it does. Uh, we had some great teams up there, but I, I guarantee you this is the biggest thrill of my life right here, winning this one, because the uh, St. Louis fans are so great to us, and I'm glad for Mr. Kerner and for all of my teammates and everything. I'm just happy as a devil. Well, Doug, it was such a great job, and I know you've kind of dedicated your life to battling Kuzi out there. And to me, in this six-game series, you saw the greatest playing the greatest. And it was really something to behold, and that's the reason we've got these 10,000 crowds out for each game. Well, they were good. the fans here are great, buddy, and uh, I hope we can win another one next year. That's well, Dugan, I, you're, I, I think you will. And listen, if I don't see you before, uh, have a real nice time in Houston this summer. We'll try to get on down to see you sometime. Okay, buddy boy. Thank you. Fine. Doogie Martin. And here, I'm going to give this over to Gene Kirby. And here comes, and here comes Walt Davis. Walt. 
My gosh, money. this is really something. A couple of months ago, did you did you think of this when you were with the Warriors? Oh, no, sorry. How'd they make out? Huh? Oh, how'd they make out? <laughs> By golly, Walt, we're proud of you, and I know that you got to be a real happy guy. And this will buy a few diapers for that new young yes, won't sir. it? She was an omen, wasn't she? Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. I'd, I'd forgotten to mention that to the folks last Wednesday. We got it in tonight, though, Walt, yes, that uh, good, number good. six came along and was a little girl, girl number five. So. <laughs> Walt is heading home with a new station wagon and a world's championship. And Walt, I'd say it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a million. Have a real nice summer, won't you? All right. And now uh, I'm going to turn this over. Let, let Jim talk to a few. Jim has done such a very fine job with us all season long. It's been so much fun working with Gene Kirby, Jim Butler, and our thanks to Bill Cruz, who's filled in the last couple of Saturdays when I've been a little bit tardy. Here's Jim. We'll round up some of the fellas for you, Jim. Okay, bud. I'm going to have to play this by ear because I just ran down all six ramps to get here from the fourth floor to the second floor. I don't know exactly who's been talked to and who hasn't. Matt, how you doing, boy? Oh, great tonight, Jim. Great. Uh, need I say congratulations? Oh, thank you. It's a wonderful win. Boy. Wonderful job. How's Bev? Real good. Real and real good now. Another yeah. seven weeks and be a papa. Uh, good for you, boy. And you couldn't uh, actually uh, call that number one because this is your number one. You'd be a papa of a world championship. Oh, this is the greatest. This is the greatest. We got the greatest bunch of guys, the greatest owner, coach, and everything. Got During the past team. few days, Matt, how's the spirit been? Is it oh, just... tremendous, tremendous. Everyone buckled down tonight. I think you could tell in the locker room we were going out there to, to win a ball game. Pettit played probably the greatest game in the uh, history of the game. It's the greatest I've ever seen. We haven't yet had a chance to check into the record book, but I don't think that's necessary because this was obviously... Oh, he had a set every kind of record there was in that thing. And uh, plus, so many things besides scoring he did the night that was so valuable towards, to us towards the victory. Of course, everyone on the team, I thought, had a part in this game tonight. I think every, all ten men played, which was great. There are no, no tickets to be uh, cashed in on uh, going to Boston, are there? Oh, no. We didn't want to, but we were scared to death we might have to. <laughs> Good, man. Right. Thanks a lot, boy. Thank you, Jim. Good luck to you Thanks. and Bev. Bev Park, uh, Med's wife, is uh, seven weeks from now going to have a new Medford, quite probably, and uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, having him play. we got a gentleman here. A gentleman named Bill Cruz, who was with us in the early part of the game. Let's let Bill talk to uh, Jack Coleman. Okay, the old rancher, the man Bud has dubbed the old rancher, Jack Coleman. And Jack, this is uh, how many championships for you? Well, this is my second, Bill, but I think it's one of my happiest. It's really been a great, uh, great year, and I'm just as happy as if I had good sense. <laughs> that uh, first one dated back to Rochester, 1950, huh? About 1950, we beat Minneapolis out, yeah. In this ball game tonight, uh, do you have any doubts, any fears uh, along in the last three or four minutes of the ball game? Bill, I had doubts all the way through that game. I, uh, it, it was just something to sit over there and watch the boys come through, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Looking back, any pivotal point that you might pick out of where you see the ball game change? Well, I think Pettit, uh, finally, and toward the end of the game, we got feeding Pettit pretty good, and uh, he was really hitting tonight. I think he played one of the greatest games I've ever seen anybody play at any time. He hit pretty good, 50 points and all. <laughs> 50? I 50 didn't know he points. Got. That uh, definitely is a playoff record. Well, he took a lot of rebounds off, too, and uh, played a great defensive game. Uh, I think all around it's the greatest basketball game I've ever seen anybody play. Jack, one more question before you leave. I know you want to get back and celebrate with the rest of the fellows. A wonderful victory here. The first championship of the St. Louis Hawks. Well, Ben Kerner back there with a great big smile on his face. Looks like somebody just gave him a million dollars. But this question is this. You saw Mikan back in his days, his great days with the Minneapolis Lakers, as he led the Minneapolis Lakers to, to win after win, to world championship after world championship. But did Mikan's play, and when he was going great guns for the Lakers, compare to the play tonight of Pettit? Well, Bill, that's a pretty tough question. Uh, as I said before, I think Pettit played the greatest game I've ever seen played, and that included the years when Mikan was playing at his best. Uh, George was a great ball player, and uh, Pettit's a great ball player, and to choose between the two, I just hate to have to do it. What about the plans for next year? Bill, I, uh, I'm going to hang it up this year. You're going to retire a champion. Yeah, right, right. Okay, thanks a lot, Jack. Good luck to you down in the town of Burke, Kentucky. Thank you, Bill. Okay, Dr. Wolf, one of the, uh, the biggest boosters that we've run across in Hawk basketball has been ever since the Hawks came here to make it their home. Doc, quite a night. Well, it was a great night and a great night for Ben. Thirteen years and he's finally got to the end of the rainbow tonight. How about that? Oh, it's wonderful. I, uh, I said a moment ago, he looks happier than if somebody just gave him a million dollars. Well, I'll tell you, he'll, he'll take this victory instead of a million. And I'll tell you, that boy Pettit, no big blue, really came through, didn't he? It's a big night for the St. Louis Hawk fans. Yes, Many sir. people have said this, Doc, and I think you'll agree that uh, the Hawk...